As Nigerians continue to face a very difficult economic situation in the country, insurance experts have urged Nigerians to consider investing in insurance policy to safeguard their lives and property. This advice was given recently during the 46th Annual General Meeting of Veritas Capital Assurance in Abuja. CTV News was there. From various parts of the country, these stockbrokers, shareholders and regulatory bodies are gathered here at the corporate headquarters of Veritas Capital Assurance PLC for the 46th Annual General Meeting AGM. The AGM provided an opportunity for the insurance company to appraise her performances in the areas of profitability and payment of claims. We are putting strategies in place as the new policies of this new government come in place and we identify the agreed policies. We we'll find a proper place like we did ourselves two, three, four years ago under the ADP to situate ourselves to be able to generate money for the company. You cannot be a reliable insurance company if you don't pay your claims promptly. So what we are looking at as a company is to figure out what are the disru disruptive and unconventional ways we can face claims and, un and the underwriting process. These are the things that we're looking at with regards to trying to change the way that uh, we're approaching our insurance business. You know, uh, modernizing our legacy, our legacy landscape is what we really need to do. If we don't do that, we'll be left behind. So we're trying to run a linear, trimmer, similar process where it's incorruptible as much as possible that can make sure that we guide against writing even premiums for businesses that will be un unprofitable, to be honest with you. So those are the things we're looking at. Um, the, uh, the industry is, itself has issues of corporate care, climate change, connected underwriting. All those things are things that we're looking at as a company, and that's why we have the various committees that are looking at them. So we use that to, to enhance our strategy. Our strategy document is, that a, is a live document. So if we come with a strategy document for the year 2023, and government changes. And government says, now petrol is no longer subsidized. And government says, I want to collapse the exchange rate. That will have an effect on the business. So whatever strategy we had, for instance, for the year 2023, has been affected by the micro and economic changes that are being put in place by the government. It is incumbent upon us now to adapt and be nimble enough to now adapt our businesses to, 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 enhance, to join that system and find a way to grow from it. We're also looking in the area of micro agri you know, um, so in trying to in trying to diversify our portfolio, you know, because um, you know, Anchor Boras program, you know, um, there's a lull in the Anchor Boras program. I'm not even so sure whether the next government, you know, would you know will also embark on that program. So we're also looking at diversifying into micro micro agri. So these are some of the things that we're doing. Some of the shareholders see the annual general meeting as an opportunity to advise Nigerians to pick up insurance policies to foster loss of life and properties, especially in these difficult economic realities of Nigeria. With the kind of strategy that we have put in place this year, which we believe the results, even though the results are already coming in, but we believe that we will have stronger results next year. And so we hope that we will declare dividends next year. Um, you see, <laughs> you know, because of the economic situation of the country, you know, the people who, the people who are at the, you know, the grassroots are the ones who really need insurance. Because, you see, the people who are, the, the wealthy people, you know, people who are wealthy, you know, right, they can still afford to, when they suffer losses, they can still afford, you know, to, you know, to, um, to get themselves back, to cover all of those losses, to cover their losses. They can still afford to, you know, to you know, take care of their losses. But the people, the people who are the grassroots, because of the economic situation, it might be difficult for them you know, to get themselves back to the position that they were. It's a clear call for Nigerians to embrace insurance. We have seen collapse buildings and so on like that. If those buildings are insured, you will discover that people's lives also will be insured. And once accidents like that happen, people will resort to claim. So for us, we are employing people to embrace insurance as a guarantee for safety in times of any accident. Why Nigeria should? Insurance is very, very good and it's a sensitive area for Nigerians. So many things, death, uh, loss of uh, goods, loss of property. When you, are, when you insure anything, that means you, you, you have hope. Actually, it is only here in Nigeria that uh, people don't know the value of insurance. In, in other crimes, the insurance is one of the backbone of any economy. Why is that? 
every every uh, material, every house is being insured. But here in Nigeria, because of the negative perception, the uh, the an average in Nigeria feel about insurance. That's why this is not happening. My message to Nigerians: they should exercise patience. Removing subsidy is the right thing, but we have to suffer. That suffering we are going to face will be in a short time. My reason is that the subsidy the government is paying in billions of naira, it will go to certain peoples. But if they, if they, if they remove subsidy, they do some other imp in infrastructure, such as road, agriculture, projects and whatever, and they come and increase salary of staff, staff and the welfare of Nigerians, we will see a lot of changes. Insurance business is a good business. It's a business that every Nigerian must invest in. Especially, you know, you know we have different type of insurance business. We have uh, insurance policy, we have uh, insurance you know, business. But in the literary terms, it is very good for someone to at least uh, invest his you know, money in the insurance company. In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.